Hey guys, I'm name is George and welcome to this uh, Java tutorial. Uh, this is the fourth tutorial in the Java series and actually what we're going to do now is that we're going to perform some mathematical operations using Java and this is going to be really interesting because we're going to be using variables and we're going to be printing the results of uh, those operations in uh, our console, okay? So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, some variables. I'm going to create a variable called x, and then I'm going to create another variable called y, and another variable called result. Now, uh, I actually need to assign some values to these variables, otherwise I'm going to create some errors. Now, uh, what I want to do is I want to do uh, a mathematical operation using x and y and storing the result in the variable called result okay so if I if I want to perform for example an addition what I will do is that I would say x plus using the plus sign uh, plus y semicolon and this will be equals to result okay so I will store this uh, result over here and finally what I want to do is that I want to print the result of that mathematical operation now I will, I will say that uh, the result is, and I will say just plus result, and that would be it. Now, since our variables are actually empty, uh, this uh, editor actually said that the variable hasn't been initialized, and that may throw an error in Java. So what we need to do is that we can assign some values to these variables, and we can do that by using the equal sign at the moment uh, that we create the variable, for example, I can say uh, int x equals 5 and then int y equals 10 and then result and result is going to be equals to x plus y. Now if I run this code, uh, the result will actually be 15 and you can see over here the result is uh, 15 because we're performing an addition using the plus sign. Now if you want to subtract uh, these uh, two variables you can use the minus sign which is this one that you can see over here and the result uh, will be minus 5. So integer variables can actually store negative numbers. Okay. Uh, you can also perform multiplication by using uh, the asterisk over here. Run the code and you will see 50 okay because 5 uh, times 10 is equal to 50 and you can also do some division for example if we want to divide uh, y uh, divided by x this will be 10 divided by 5 and the result will be actually the number 2 so we will see these results over here so these are basic uh, mathematical operations uh, the operators for that I uh, remember they are plus sign and uh, minus sign slash for division and asterisk for uh, multiplication. Now you also have uh, some other operators. Uh, for example, the modulo sign uh, will get you the remainder of a division. For example, if we say y divided by x, but you say that y is, for example, 11. Now this is actually going to be like uh, 2.1 I think, uh, if, but if you run the code, since integers are whole numbers, you will see the result is number 2. Now this is because uh, you're getting like uh, the result of the division, but you're not getting the reminder of this operation. If you use the model sign, which is actually percentage uh, sign, uh, you will get the residue which in this case will be 1. So you will get the result is 1 and this will be the reminder of 11 divided by 5. Now these are basic mathematical operations. Now um, what I want to do next is that I'm going to create a scanner uh, like the one that we used on the last video so we can get some input from the keyboard and we can actually specify which values are X and Y going to have so I'm going to create a scanner called scan scanner I'm going to call it okay a new scanner and then type in system.in and this basically means that scanner is going to be an object that uh, captures input from the system, okay? And x is going to be equal 
scanner dot next integer so I will get the next integer number from the console and y is going to be the same so I'm going to say next scanner I'm, I'm sorry next int, int next integer and the result will be the I wanna multiply these two variables and over here I'm going to put a simple message that say um, give me two whole numbers sorry for that numbers okay so I will run this program and what I will see in my console over here is give me two numbers uh, so I will give it 10 and 50 and I will see the result if 500 okay so I'm going uh, I'm, I'm basically performing the multiplication of these two variables that uh, we got through the keyboard okay so that is uh, something now uh, something else that you might want to know is that you can also uh, use uh, another type of variable that is uh, float numbers I'm going to use float variables I mean instead of using int uh, uh, variables I'm going to use float okay so uh, something you also need to remember is that all mathematical operations need to be done using uh, preferably the same type of variables so if I'm going to divide these two variables these uh, two variables need to be uh, both uh, floating variables so if I use for example an integer over here and a float over there this result which will actually be the biggest kind of variable in this case is going to be the float however this is not recommended I recommend always to use the same type of variable if you use this you can use decimal point uh, uh, numbers so I can put over here 4 and I want to divide 4 by 3 and I will get the result is 0 0.75 okay and if you use double numbers this is like a more exact uh, decimal point numbers uh, they are more precise uh, than float numbers you can also use uh, those variables for handling uh, really big numbers or more complex operations for example we can divide 1000 by I don't know 6 dot 1 to 3 and you will get the oh we got an error over here and this is because we are reading the next integer number however these variables are doubles so what we need to do I'm sorry for that guys but that is nice that it happened because now we know the reason we do need to use next double so uh, the program actually knows that you are using doubles as an input uh, for your program so don't forget to uh, use that and change the next uh, method over there next double now I will give it 1000 and divided by 6.123 and you will get the result which is 0 0.006123 okay so that is nice I hope you guys liked uh, this tutorial that you learned uh, something new and if you did don't forget to click on the like button below and subscribe to my channel so see you guys in the next video bye bye